I wanted to make a brief video showing how the Fujitsu ScanSnap S1500, um, how capable it is at scanning books. Uh, so here we go, just a standard S1500. Um, I'm actually using it on the Mac. Uh, that's a little gotcha, you can actually buy the normal version, it works exactly the same, there's, there's no difference at all. I just put a Mac sticker in it. Okay, let's open it up. I'll do this alive. Uh, but I'll pause the video because it, it will get quite tedious to just watch the pages go through. But I'll show you what, what is involved. Uh, I have a book here. It used to just be on my shelf taking up space. So what I did was literally just rip the cover off. Uh, it survived quite well. Uh, and after ripping the cover off, all the pages are, are stuck together. So you will need to scrape the glue off. I had to go through 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 the pages and, and you know make sure they're unstuck and make sure you can flip through them. Um, I mean, ideally you would separate the book out into sections, um, and then you would use a paper trimmer and just trim along the edge to get rid of, of this nasty gluey edge. So let's grab a handful of pages. I mean, it, it, I, I believe the the limit is about 50, um, but I mean this this is double sided, so this is. 33 pages there, but a thick cover as well. So we'll see how the scanner gets on with that. Uh, now the way you position the pages is, is um, the the first page goes goes at the back, and it goes upside down. That that's that's how the scanner uh, figures out how to uh, scan both sides of the page correctly. And now we just literally hit the button and, and see what happens. And now the pages come flying through. It's all being scanned correctly and I'll show the final result when it's finished. But I'm going to pause the video now and just let, let this munch through. All it's the been page. a couple of minutes, I'm currently on the third batch. Uh, it's page 318 at the end of this. Um, so as you can see this is an extremely fast and extremely efficient way to, to scan. I just wanted to talk about the quality setting. At the moment it's set to, to the high setting and you can see how fast the pages are coming out. This is 300 dpi and it's scanning from from both sides, so fully duplex. There is another setting for 600 dpi, but to be honest, I, I highly doubt that the, you know the, the, the text is printed at, at anything more than 300 dpi. And then I'm going to switch over to the PC and show you guys how I'm going to fit everything together and uh, how I process everything in software. Uh, I wanted to point out on this last batch, a couple of pages were stuck together, uh, and when they came through, uh, the software instantly flagged them and instantly showed. Um, that the pages did come through together and it allowed to delete the file and, and rescan. But yeah, the, the scanner, even if it makes a mistake, you know, straight away, you, you, you're gonna you're gonna know about it. It's not it's not just gonna keep things in the dark from you. So um, I really love this scanner. I've, I've only had it a couple of months, but I must have scanned thousands of documents. You know, if this thing ever breaks, I'm definitely gonna go out and purchase another one. And there we go. Okay, I'm switched over to the PC now, and here's my book. Uh, you can see it's all there. That's the parts I've scanned the book in. Uh, let's open one of the documents. Uh, there we go. If we zoom in a bit, you can see the quality is pretty, pretty great. This specific page, um, I've, I've chosen to show it because you can see a bit of chromatic aberration. You, you do see that sometimes, especially on on, on thicker pages. Um, bear in mind, this is quite a thick cover plus. Uh, it's a shiny reflective cover, so you know the scanner still did an amazing job. I'm, I'm quite happy with it, even though there is that that bit of cyan above the letters. Okay, so now we need to stitch the document together, and the easiest way that I've found is to open one document. Okay, then open um, you know the rest of the documents in another window. So there we go. Um, uh, if we show the sidebar of the single document as well, um, so that's that's 87 pages here. And to add the remainder, all we do is select all the pages from from the other window from the sidebar and just drag it across. You'll see a little plus. That means it's going to add the pages to the existing document. So if we drop, there you go. We just close it. Okay, and now we can see the file has grown significantly. And if we open it. Then you can you can see that it's it's the full 428 pages, which is the entire book. Okay, uh, let me just show you quickly the quality. I mean, again, you can you can see the dots. So you know, even at 300 dpi, this is this is more than enough. And if it's not enough for you, then you can set the scanner to higher. Uh, so now the final step, we want to be able to just copy paste 
code or text from the book uh, or to search the book. That, that's one of the big advantages of having it on the PC in the first place. Um, I mean, there's there's various solutions. There's Fine Reader, there's, there's Acrobat, there's this P PDF Pen Pro. Uh, they're all good. In my experience, personally, I've, I've, I've run um, various uh, tests, but, but I have gotten the best results out of Acrobat Pro. You know, that's what I'm going to use. When you're opening an Acrobat, the interface is really slow. I really hate the, 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 the you know, the whole toolbar. You, you, you click on things, the refresh rate is is abysmal. It's, it's, it's just, I don't like the software, but this this one icon there uh, makes the software worth it. So literally, you press this icon, you select what language you want, down sample to 300, that's equivalent to what it scanned in. So we press OK. Now this, this bit is going to take a while. Another great thing about this OCR, it will straighten pages, it will uh, disk you, it will it will do a lot of things for you. Um, so you know it's worth just just letting it run. You can't hide it, but you can put other windows on top of it. It doesn't it doesn't get in the way. Okay, the process is done. Um, <clears throat> the book is now searchable. You can uh, copy paste text. I am quite happy with it. I mean, for instance, just just randomly, let's go to <clears throat> to a random page anywhere in the book. Let's try copying that. I mean, that looks quite. I mean, there's different colors. There's, there's symbols. There's there's quite a lot of variety here. Uh, and let's see what it looks like. I mean, it's pretty much spot on. And we can search the book. Let's type Apache. That's quite common in the book. You can you can see every page that mentions Apache. Uh, so it makes it easier to use the book just to be able to search it. Another thing is this, this is indexed by Spotlight as well. So anything you search in Spotlight will now include this book. So <clears throat> I'm very happy with it. It's it's the the accuracy is is pretty good. Um, and that's the final result. So now that everything's done, there's our book. We can literally just take it and chuck it in a bin.